play a more longest journey, but then I realized that um, I saved over where I left off, so I have to do the, I think it's about an hour of game before I can get back to where I left off. I will do that. I don't feel like doing it right now. I have about an hour or two hours until my laundry's done, and then I'm going to go out and do something. So instead, we're going to start Day of the Purple Tentacle. Um, I know I should probably play something other than an adventure game, but right now this is what I feel like doing, and I've wanted to play it anyways, and I can talk right now. So, you know, let's uh, let's start this. <laughs> I think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great, smarter, more aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> Yeah, I just realized I don't have subtitles on. Not that it matters, I guess. Take on the world. Uh, but we're going to put subtitles on, and I'm going to restart that. So both. Turn that down a little bit. Turn that down a little bit. Turn that down a little bit. And then we're going to decrease this to about, let's go 70. To make sure the dialogue works. And then we're going to restart. This won't matter for people who are watching the recording, and no one's watching the stream right now anyway, so... I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great, smarter, more aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> Like I could. Take on the world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion! Here's the intro screen. Um, so I'm playing Day of the Purple Tentacle because um, 
I need to do laundry, and so I'm waiting for my laundry to get done. I was gonna play Longest Journey, but um, I couldn't get the... Uh, I realized I saved over my first save, so I have to do two hours of gameplay off screen in order to get back to the last save. So, we're gonna be playing this today. Um, I'm gonna s probably split just this one play session into two parts uh, for when I go and put my clothes in the dryer. And after I'm done with all my clothes, I'm probably gonna head out. So, um, we're gonna play today the Purple Tentacle. I can talk right now because it's daytime. And, um, yeah, we'll have fun with this. I love all the characters in this game. This game's so weird. This game's so weird. So weird. And we can play Original Maniac Mansion if uh, I go to one of the screens in the game and we can watch it crash six or seven times in a row. And I'm not going to play that because I, I hate the first day of the tentacle. Or first the the first Maniac Mansion. I guess this is the second Maniac Mansion game. I guess. In a completely not related to Maniac Mansion at all kind of way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. I'm also connected to the wrong uh, internet, so uh, I'm not sure how clear this is going to go through. Hopefully it'll go through fine. It says I'm not dropping any frames yet, so we'll see. Uh, Tim Schafer, when you still made great games. Don't get, don't get me wrong, I love Brutal Legend. It's just Brutal Legend is so, not a great game. It's a great story, it's great characters, it's just not a great game. Tim Schafer is really good at writing. I wish you just stuck to that. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? That's a good question, man. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna pick up this flyer. We're gonna pick up this help sign. We're gonna pick up this coin. So, um... We'll look at this stuff. Whee! It's a vacuum flyer. It's for, it's for a vacuum. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff! A help, help wanted. wanted. Lab assistant. Hard-working moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma. Not required. And we got a dime, which we're not going to bother examining. Can we open the office? Yes, we can. Ah, uh, here we are. We can pick up the Swiss bank book. Let's look at it. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. We picked it up instead. Um, we're gonna open it. It's this. closed. What do you do with closed things? You open them. There's a boo boo be gone in here. We're gonna take that. I don't even know why I'm doing all this so far. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm right. Let's, let's just... Let's just do the next thing. We have to find the uh, where the um, secret lab Hoagie's is. Hoagie's got that part of the house. So Hoagie's got that part of the house, and Laverne's got this part of the house. So, so that must mean that it's here, right? Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. He's right. It's very strange. Aha! A secret passage. He found this it. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually, until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. 
Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogen! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Well, I'll be! Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. The only person still terrified is Bernard. <laughs> We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. Oh no, we're falling! Nineties were a great time, guys. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond! Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future! Well, hurry up and bring them back! I will! As soon as I get a new diamond! Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. So, <clears throat> here's the game, basically. The adventure here is that we have the two uh, time machines lost. Both time machines need to be plugged in, and then we have to get the machine working again. So, after that, basically, the rest of the game is, is just cake. It's just the ending scene. Maybe I put them upstairs. 
That's got to be it. Upstairs! So we have to find the super battery plan for Hoagie. I'm pretty sure that it's right here. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's uh -huh. capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! I've got the plans! Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please! You really flushed them! Yes! Down the toilet! No! Through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No! Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Hoagie, come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison! He's my great 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 grandfather! He'll know what to do! You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy! Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. <laughs> Time for me to save the world, I guess. Cool, so the way that we're going to have to do this is that we can switch between Bernard, and we can switch between this guy. He has a name, I'm sure. Um, huh, this door appears to be locked. Is there someone in it? Grody. 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 Ye old. Ye old house. Whatever. Let's go here. It's totally covered with crud. God. Being from California, this um, his voice is very relevant to me and my um, my people. You're brilliant! What a novel design! Come to Baltimore at once. So um, we can walk to the toilets and just give people stuff, but we're instead just gonna do this. Well, I'll just run to the chronogen. There's something in the chronogen. See, and now we don't have to walk all the way to the chronogen every time we want to do that. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't know this door was closed, and I just kept clicking on it. I've replayed this game like six or seven thousand times. I, I, I know close to all the solutions. Talk to the mummy. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Do you know where I could find him? Great hat, man. I dig the three-corner idea. It's like the pyramids, you know? My friend Eddie told me the pyramids are built by aliens. Way. Well, nice talking to you, dude. Yeah, that was unnecessary, but I've never, I've never done that before. In all honesty, uh, the founding fathers, the founding fathers of our nation here, sitting around doing something. Let's talk to them. Let's talk to our founding fathers. This is John Hancock. Yo. Hello. 
What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... Uh, uh, writing the... Uh, We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. Wimp. I uh, remember from Sam and Max when we were making fun of um the fisherman for being uh, the guy who slept with his stepdaughter. Yeah. Once more. The 90s. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity oh, we already asked this. and won't part oh, with it. He's going to give oh, the God. log to starving no, children? No, I don't get any respect around here. <laughs> Why, I bet if George oh, I spent it. the winter in Valley <laughs> Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. You mean you have, like, a childhood complex? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c c crazy over guys with a big signature. Uh-huh. Totally. I can verify that. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Well, I gotta go, dude. Let's talk to Jefferson. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. He's also the president at one point. Mr. President. Dude, is that like the Constitution? Right now, it's just a constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we've put up a suggestion box over there. Oh my god, we can make suggestions? Oh my god, has anybody ever told them that he's a snappy dresser? Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas, my name is Thomas, and this, my <laughs> chubby friend, is a time capsule filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? Uh... I like the we the people part. That's not in the Declaration of... Say, that's not bad. Maybe we can use it. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? Oh my god, there's a... We're gonna try to take the Constitution first. You can look, but don't touch. Damn it. Let's try to take the feather. Hey, keep your hands off that. We need the feather. 
The feather is very important. Everything else that we do here is, is for the feather. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. He's from Virginia. Washington is from Virginia, not not like a, you know... He's not from Quahog. Which is where? Rhode Island? Which is New England? Yeah. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. I only cut down cherry trees. Family tradition, you understand. Cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. That's a, that's a hint, guys. That's a hint. You see this kumquat tree that was by the porta johns? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, um, we need to pick up the soil. And we need to pick up the spaghetti. We need a bucket later. There's no bucket. Oh, can I open this pantry? I can't open it. No, we can't open the pantry. Okay, let's go through the door. Uh, there's the bucket. Let's take the bucket. We have to open this. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. Um, is there anything else? Open the cabinet. There's a brush in here. Okay, so we go and let's fill the bucket. Use the bucket with the water pump. Everything that's going to happen in this game is so disconnected because I just know all the random things that we need to do but not why we need to do them. Is this open still? Oh, there is. Oh, this is a guy. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? Wait, so the, the, the Ben Franklin thing about like the red and the blue glasses, I get that that's a 3D glasses reference, but has anybody ever seen um, the second national treasure? And I know, I know that's a stupid thing to ask, but if you have, you know what I'm referencing when I bring that up. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. What's paper well, entropy? see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. I guess that paper, like, dissolves over time. Because paper does eventually get old and it becomes very brittle. Mmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Oh, well, we have some oil. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. 
Who do I? Oh, I need to give that to Livern. Okay. Um. It's covered with plans and junk. We're not gonna worry about that. Let's uh take this jacket. Hey, only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Obviously, we need to get rid of him. Let's take this mallet. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag ready or not. Oh, wait, we've already been there. Let's go upstairs. Okay, let's open this. This is George's room. Assume George Washington. Let's use this cord. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Mm, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. I am going to take the soap out of your cart. No, that's I not... I can't open it. That's not what I want. Pick up the soap. Oh, ha! Get away from that! It's a good thing I finish in there quickly. Now scram! They just uh. go make founding fathers like they used to. Okay, I know what we messed up. Use the bed. Yeah! Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess! And now we can pick up the soap without a problem. Yep. Let's talk to her. All done here. Bye now. Uh, got it. You didn't have to close the stupid door, though. Hey, it's Max! The late Max Addox. His petard runneth over. A lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I'm gonna play the newer Sam and Max games eventually, too. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Hmm. We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Eh. We don't have the pattern yet. Use soap. The water's bucket. all sudsy now. Okay, let's open the door. Huh. This is Franklin's room. No, look at I it. don't quite see how it can fly. Can we pick up the plants? I don't understand that technical stuff. Oh, here's the wine bottle. We need to get this wine bottle. Uh, there's a calendar here. A mirror. Can I open the drawer? Grody, man. I don't no. go through people's underwear. Mm, let's leave. Let's go upstairs. It's a horse! Let's talk to the horse. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic, I'm just a horse. <laughs> nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Let's open this door. Go in. I'm looking for the artist. Ah, uh, here he is. 
question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. <laughs> Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. <laughs> Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. My kind of people? What kind of people? Big, dumb people. Oh, fuck you, bro. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? The future. Oh, I should have said the last one. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. So I'm going to do something, but I'm going to show you why I so do it So as soon first. as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Okay. Let's go upstairs. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you why we need to do what we're about to do with Hoagie. I also need paint. Where am I gonna get paint? That's for later. Can open it. Do okay. Oh, I can't open any of these. Can I open the television? No. I need two dimes, by the way, to use this. So we're not going it's to yet. It's already open. That's why I just want you to leave. Just go outside. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design, so I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Take the ink. I think this is the the sun's room. Green! Oh, no. Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Hmm. 
Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man, volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations. But we have a huge following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. It's getting back out of it that's hard. Yeah, <laughs> too true, too true, my friend. I don't really care See about the rest of this stuff. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Uh, can I pick up the bowling ball? It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Oh, that's right. Hoagie needs to pick it up. Push this. Yeah. Is that tape? I need to take the tape. Then we're going to use this. Wow! This is loud! Yay! Oh! I just remember what we need to use that for. Uh, listen to that blasting music. This is the brother's room. Or hey! The... Aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but... Something happened to him. <laughs> uh, in case you don't know, in the first Maniac Mansion thing, I think you blow it up inside a microwave. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like, ding. Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. I don't care about the rest of this. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Yeah, whatever. Can I pick up the hamster? Yes, I can. Um, if you use this computer, um, you will uh, play the original Maniac Mansion. We're going to go turn the freaking music off, by the way. Ugh. Whew. That gets annoying. All right. Here's the statue. So we need to do something here. We need to use this tape right here, but as you can see... Get away from that! Yep, so we need to get rid of her. So if you push her... <laughs> yep. She'll grab onto that. So, what we need to do is we need to get rid of the statue somehow. So back to Hoagie. Hoagie, who's here, and if we use our left-handed hammer, because this is the right-handed brother, this is the left-handed brother, right? Because that's his left hand holding the sword. So when he puts the hammer down, oh no, I've lost it. Oh 
where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Ta-da! Let's kick the old bitch out. See ya! Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. So, use this on here. And we'll leave because we don't actually have the stuff to do anything with this yet. What do I have that Hoagie needs? Does he need this textbook? What the Chicago textbook? Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff! Yeah, he probably does need this. I'll use the Chronogen. Um, I need the dime, the Swiss bank book, the boo boo be gone is for... Laverne. What's You're this letter? brilliant! What a novel design! Come to Baltimore at once! It's for him. And he's a hamster here. We're gonna go upstairs and get the stuff from upstairs. Uh, uh, uh. Let's... There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous in there. Can I open it? Yes. The bed. What do I do with the bed? I kind of remember. I can see the roof and some Christmas lights. Okay, can you open the window? It's already open. It is. And go. Go, quick. Uh, pick this up. That's gonna have to go to Laverne, I think. Um... Shortcut. Into this room. Do I have the... No, I don't. Hey, boy! You missed the party! You and the clown were having a party? No, no! Last night! At the Novelty Goods Salesman's Convention! I tell you, we Novelty Goods Salesmen know how to have a good time! Has anyone ever told you you look like Dante Alighieri? That's strange. My wife says I look like Charlie Chaplin. So, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! You shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit! Ah, uh, dude must get his ass kicked so often. Can I move that yet? That cracks me up every time! Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, I need to get the bang gun. Uh, so we have the teeth. Or, I, I forgot to do something before I did this. I need to open this up. Open this. No, not the... Open the grating, please. There we go, okay. So, walk around with the teeth. Kind of push it back over here. And then get it back down. And then we're gonna walk back. There we go. Fell into the thing, now we can pick it up. We're gonna give these to Hobie. Okay, there's a fork. There's coffee. We need the decaf. I don't remember if we need the normal coffee, but we're gonna take it anyways. 
We're going to open the microwave, make sure there's nothing in I'm here. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. Uh, okay. Open this. Who knows what surprises await inside? That's why you open it. There's a funnel. I don't need to use this yet. Remember what I need that for. Anyways, we're going to switch back to Hoagie. Uh, hmm. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's the paint. Pick up the stupid paint. Do I need this? I think I need the mouse toy. Whatever, we got the paint. So, we're gonna go and open up Laverne so that we can get, um... All the stuff that we need for that from the future. And then uh, once I let Laverne down, I'm gonna take a break. So use the paint on here. Then we have to walk back. Let's go find George. Oh, George. George Washington, please come here. We need to talk. I think you're a pussy. You can't chop down a cherry tree. Uh, excuse me. Yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. <laughs> I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, we unlocked Laverne. Uh, I'm gonna save here, and I'm gonna take a break, and uh, put my clothes in the dryer, and I'll be back. I will see you all later.